The Guggenheim's collection includes over 150 paintings, drawings, and prints by the Russian-born artist Vasily Kandinsky. It has been my great pleasure to spend ample time with these works over my career at the Guggenheim. This painting from 1908 to 09 is really one of the great treasures of the Guggenheim's holdings. And it was an important picture for Kandinsky because of this horse and rider motif that we see at the very center of the composition. And in this period, in the 1900s and 1910s, as we were marching towards the First World War without even really realizing it, Kandinsky had come to Munich around the turn of the century from Russia. Munich was at the time a real cultural center of artistic activity and innovation. And he found real fellowship among the artists there, artists who were experimenting with their materials, with their style and he began to embrace this more expressive use of color and line and form. Around 1904, Kandinsky left Munich and traveled to North Africa, to Italy, Holland, and he spends about a year in France, right outside of Paris. And when he returns to Munich in 1908, he's really moving away from those natural forms and he's about to take on these more apocalyptic themes. In the year 1909, we see no less than seven other canvases in which Kandinsky included the horse and rider motif. So what does it mean? Well, for Kandinsky, it symbolized his crusade against traditional aesthetic values. So his real desire to break free, to um, innovate, to create something that maybe had never been seen before. The horse and rider motif was also his belief in the transformative power of art, that art can be inspirational, it can be transcendent, it can lift us all up. He dreamed of a more utopian spiritual future. As I've been here sheltering at home with my family in New York, I've thought about this painting and I tried to reclaim that spirit, that hope, that optimism, um, that, that there's something better on the other side. And I just can't wait to get back into the galleries and spend more time with it um, and see it in person to um, see those amazing red and yellow trees, that foliage that's just dappled with so much color. And these horse and riders right at the center that you can't help but feel the surge of joy, that you're right there with them at the center being lifted up to this more spiritual realm.